For today's video guys, tuturuan ko kayo ng pinakamadaling proseso sa pagkuha ng oras ng paglubog ng araw or time of sunset. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara! So okay, let's start guys to compute the time of sunset. So bago tayo mag-compute, ito yung mga kailangan natin. We have date, UTC, zone description, UTC time, okay? Latitude and longitude. Ito lang mga kailangan natin sa pag-compute ng time of sunset. So, our date is September 12, 2023 and our UTC time, 15 hours, 14 minutes and 20 seconds and our zone description is plus 3. And then our latitude, 24 degrees, 04.08 north. Longitude, 36 degrees, 30.26 minutes east. Okay, so before we start, we have to convert this 24, at this 0.4 degrees and 0.8 minutes to degree, okay? So in order to convert this 0.4.08 minutes into degrees, you have to, you know, I mean, divide into 60. So 0.4.08, is it 0.4.08? Divide 60 You have 0.0 So we have 24 24 degree 24.0 degrees North Okay, get it? Now let's convert the longitude This art 36 degrees and 30.26 minutes is To time So Longitude Going to time, so let's convert this. So I will teach you how to convert this longitude to time. Okay, we don't have scientific calculator. In scientific calculator, madali lang don. Okay, input nyo lang thirty six degrees thirty point twenty six minute is, and then divide fifteen. Tapos talabas na don yung time ng longitude. Pero tuturuan ko kayo ng kung paano yung tawag yun, manual, manual computation ng pag-convert ng longitude to time. So, let's go. Okay, our longitude is 36, 36 degrees, okay, and then 30 minutes, 30.26, okay. So, this 0.26, we have to convert it into seconds. So, magiging ano siya, 36 minutes, ay 36 degrees, 30 minutes, and convert muna natin to, okay. So, we have 30 minutes. So, so this point 26 we have to convert into seconds. Okay? So we have to multiply by 60. So point 26 times 60 we have 15.6 or let's say 16 seconds. 16 seconds. Okay? You just um divide it all by 15, okay? So 36 divide 15 We have 2.4. This 2 is our hours, 2 hours. And this 0.4, you have to convert it to make it a minute. Okay, so we have to times it by or multiply it by 60. So minus 2. So we have 0.4 times 60 para maging minutes siya. So we have 24 minutes. Okay, got it? Now proceed here. So... Proceed tayo dito sa minutes. So, 30. 30 divide 15. We have 2. So, since minutes to, lagay mo siya dito sa minutes. So, 2 minutes. So, proceed na tayo dito sa seconds. Pag may point siya for some, like something 2.5, yung 0.5 convert mo siya sa seconds. So, ilagay mo siya dito. Okay? Okay? Kung may point, nagay mo siya dito. Okay, pag wala na, like this, wala na, proceed na tayo dito sa seconds. So, 16. 16 divide 15. We have 1. 1.0 or 1 second. So, second to. So, let's here, put here. Okay, and add all. So, you have 1 second. 24 plus 2, we have... 26 minutes, okay, and then 2 hours. So that is our longitude in time. 
So we have 2 hours and 26 minutes in 1 second. So nakuha nyo yung pag-convert. Madali lang guys. Okay. Pag i-convert nyo yung longitude to time, just um, divide by 15. Pag may decimal siya, just time 60 kung kukuha nyo yung minutes or seconds. Okay? So lagyan na natin dito yung na-compute natin time of longitude. So we have 2 hours, 26 minutes, and 1 second. Kasi kailangan natin yun mamaya. So yun guys, ngayon punta na tayo ng almanac. So ito yung almanac natin. Punta tayo ng September 12, 2023. At sa baba niya makikita niyo yung sunset. Okay, katabi niyan yung latitude. So nag-convert tayo kanina ng latitude, diba? 24 degrees north yon. Since wala dyan 24, kunin natin kung saan siya nagpapagitna. So ang nandyan is 20 and 30 kasi nakagitna siya 24, diba? So kunin yung equivalent ng 20 at 30 dyan, okay? At ito na nga gawin na natin yung tinatawag na interpolation kasi walang diba nakita nyo sa almanak walang 24 ano doon, degrees north so nakita nyo lang is 30 degrees and 20 degrees so yung kukunin natin yung kung saan siya pinapagitna okay so gitna siya ng 30 degrees north yung 24 natin diba 24 degrees north so we have 24 degrees north and 20 degrees north. Diba? Pinapagitnaan siya. Wala dun sa almanac. Kaya i-interpolate natin siya para makuha natin yung uh, equivalent nito. Okay? So sa almanac nakalagay doon yung 30 degrees north natin is 18 hours and 11 minutes 00 seconds. Tama? And yung 24 wala pa. So X muna natin yan kasi hanapin natin. So, yung 20 degrees na kalagay sa almanac is 18 hours, 07 minutes, and 00 seconds. So, tama. So, now, ang gagawin lang natin is minus-minus lang tayo para makuha natin. So, 30 minus 24, we have 6. Okay? So, over. 30 minus 20, we have 10. Mandali lang ito, guys. Okay, cross multiply lang tayo dito mamaya. So, 18 hours and 11 minutes, 0, 0 seconds minus here. So, wala. So, x. Okay. So, 18 hours minus 18 hours, 0. 11 minutes minus 7, we have 4. So, we have 4. Okay. So, cross multiply natin. So, 6 times 4, we have 24. Ah, kasunod. And then 10 times x, so 10. So 24 divided by 10, we have 2.4. So it is minutes. So 2.4 minutes. So we have this 0.4, we have to convert it para magi siyang seconds. Okay, so para magi seconds, multiply natin sa 60. 0.4 times 60, we have. 24. So, 2 minutes and 24 seconds. So, ano nang gagawin natin next? So, ngayon guys, yung nakuha nating 2 minutes and 24 seconds, si add natin sa, dito sa may 30 degrees north, itong 18 hours and 11 minutes, 00 seconds. Bakit natin i-add dito at bakit hindi dito? Kasi, yung latitude natin is north, so going pataas tayo. Ibig sabihin pataas, north, papunta tayo ng 30 degrees. So, yun nga. So, i-add na natin. 18. 18 hours, 11 minutes, and 00 seconds. So, i-add natin ito. So, we have 2 minutes and 24 seconds. We have 24 seconds. 11 plus 2, we have 13 minutes. Okay? So, we have 18 hours. So, our 24. So, our 24 the degrees north is equivalent to 18 hours and 13 minutes and 24 seconds. So, tapos na tayo sa interpolation. So, ngayon, i-apply na natin itong oras ng longitude. So, let's put here yung oras ng longitude natin. We have 2 hours here, di ba? Longitude, 26 minutes and 1 second. This is our time of longitude. Okay. So, paano ba dito? I-add ba natin o i-minus? 
if yung longitude mo ay E or east, you have to deduct. Okay? East minus west add. Okay? Kapag yung latitude may east minus kapag west plus. So, since our longitude is east, matik minus natin. Okay? So, 24 minus 1, we have 23 seconds. 13 minus 26, it cannot be. So, magbabaro tayo dito ng 60, 60 minutes. So, magiging 17 na lang to. So, magiging 60. 60 plus 13. 60 plus 13. Ilan? Kalikyo tayo. 60 plus 13. We have 73. Okay? So, 73 minus 26. We have 47. Nakuha. 47. So, 17 minus 2. We have 15. So, nakuha to guys. 60 kasi 1 hour is equivalent to 60 minutes. Tama? 16 plus 13, we have 73. Minus 26, we have 47. So, 15 hours and 47 minutes, 23 seconds, is our UTC. Now, we have to apply the zone description. Our zone description is what? Plus 3. Tama? So, we have to add this 3 to our in our hour okay so 23 seconds 47 minutes 15 plus 3 we have 18 hours so ibig sabihin in 18 hours 47 minutes 23 seconds this is our local time ng paglubog ng araw this is the time of the sunset sa date ng September 12 20 23. So yun nga guys, so napakadali lang sa nanaintindihan yung maike. Ayan guys, thank you so much for watching and hope you learned something. Guys, if you have questions, clarification, or any suggestions, do not hesitate to comment in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe and like my YouTube channel, Francis Vlogs. It's me, Francis De La Cruz, your Simon Vlogger.